Welcome back to another episode of Tap That. I'm Allie Ray. Today, I have two beers for you. Okay, that was a mega surprise. Uh, these two beers were sent to me from Griffin Claw out of Birmingham, Michigan. And I had to look that up because I was like, Birmingham, isn't that in Alabama? But there is a Birmingham, Michigan, and that's where they're out of. They have sent me their Screamin' Pumpkin Ale. It is 5% ABV. They have also sent me their Oktoberfest, and that also is 5% ABV. So I figured we're gonna do an episode and we're gonna try them both here. So the Screaming Pumpkin Owl actually says that it's brewed with pumpkin and spices, and so I'm hoping we get a lot of those flavors. I gotta open this, but I'm gonna need something. I'm not breaking these nails. Oh, it's my clip for my hair. Did you take that from my bathroom? Wonder where all these go. Okay. Mm. Ooh, really pumpkin-y. Holy shit, look at that. That's a dark one. Wow. Okay, a little darker. Man, I smell it from here. Mmm, really pumpkin-y. Smells like pumpkin pie, which is exactly what you would expect. It's a screaming pumpkin, so it better be screaming pumpkin. Mmm. All right, let's see. Oh, that's... That's very carbonated and definitely gives you the tang in the back of your jaw when you have it. But that's probably the strongest flavor of pumpkin that I've got right off the bat. I mean, it is screaming pumpkin, literally. Yeah, really, definitely a strong pumpkin. That's hearty. That feels like that might have more calories, <laughs> to be quite honest with you. It says, only the knife knows what goes in the heart of a pumpkin. Well, it's very pumpkin-y. I'm trying to think what I'm gonna rate this one, because it is really gives exactly what it said it was gonna do. Um, I'm gonna give that one a, a solid 3.0. I don't rate my pumpkin beers very high because it's not something that I like love and I don't like enjoy them all the time, but I definitely reward, you know, where it says it is screaming pumpkin and it is literally screaming pumpkin all throughout my mouth. And so I think they did a really good job there. It's also a little more full bodied, um, which really has like, like you can tell this is set, like the aromas and the flavors are just there um, and it does not go away. So it only gets better to be honest. So that, that's definitely, uh, I'm gonna give that one a solid 3.0. And up next, Griffin sent me their Oktoberfest, which is a two, true fest beer style. It is again from Griffin Claw. This is out of Birmingham, Michigan. And this one is 5% ABV as well. Oktoberfest, cool can, kind of psychedelic. I opened that on my own. Didn't break a nail, that's good. All right, oh, that's clear-ish. That one's pretty. Okay, I don't know. Hmm. Now there's no like pumpkin that we're supposed to smell. We're just getting a fest beer, and I don't really know what that is supposed to smell like, but it's very festive. I would say it's festive. It's kind of earthy. Hmm. Griffin Claw. So that also is very, I don't want to use the word full bodied for these because they're not thick by any means, they're very thin. It's just the flavor is so bodied. They just, whatever they do with their beer, they must let this shit like sit in a barrel or something because the flavors like are all up in there. It's almost like, like there's just no missing the flavor. It's there and it's very strong. Um, that is actually really great beer. I mean, for a fest beer, that's, that's amazing. It's really clean, kind of like a lager, but with just a ton of, flavors, a lot of autumn type flavors and just um, just really good. I like it. Hmm, what am I gonna give this one? So for this Fest beer, I think I'm gonna, I just think it actually is one of the cleaner Fest beers I've tasted. So for this one, I'm gonna go uh, 3.5 for this one. Um, I thought it was really good. Um, it, it drank really easily and it had a lot of flavors and especially if that's something you're looking for, Griffin Claw really nailed it. <laughs> so 
So that is a review of my Griffin Claw here with my Screaming Pumpkin Owl in our Oktoberfest. I want to say thank you so much for these guys for sending it out. Such an awesome brewery, super nice. I've heard wonderful things about them. That's why we reached out to them. Super excited, you know, to try more of their beers. If you've had anything else from Griffin Call, let me know. I'm really curious, what is their top go-to beer? I mean, obviously these are their seasonal beers, but I'd love to know what their top selling beer is. And definitely they should send me some because I'll definitely do another review. So cheers, that's a review. We're gonna Google it. We're gonna find out what makes a fest beer. This is a whole clip slash episode because we are confused and I need to know, like it's important for me to be educated on what I should be expecting with a true Fest beer. So what is Google telling us? Fest beer is supposed to be a beer rich in malts with a balance of clean hop bitterness, similar to the Vienna lager. Toasted bread or biscuit-like malt aromas and flavor is to be expected. It originates in Germany uh, and this style was traditionally brewed in the spring. You taste bread? Well, it's supposed to taste like bread, so maybe that's why I like it, because I am the girl that is not skipping the bread basket. I will eat all that bread. Yeah, all of it.